My name is Mark Asanovich, 14-year NFL strength and conditioning coach. Despite repeated blows to the head in many collision sports, head and neck strengthening is a little bit before its time because right now it's not part of the sport culture. And I liken it to the analogy of dehydration. Uh, back in the mid-70s when I was going through high school football, if I had taken a drink of water, uh, I would have been considered effeminate. I wasn't tough enough. And it took um, a number of athletes like Corey Stringer, a number of profile college athletes, to die of dehydration on the field before something as simple and logical as providing athletes with water at practice became part of the sport culture. So my question is, how many more athletes have to die as a result of brain trauma before we finally realize that to protect the brain, we have to strengthen the muscles of the head and the neck.